and welcome to another Lawn Fawn video. Today we're going to be quickly introducing some awesome new products and we're going to start off with two new colors of ink. First we have our Clover ink and then our Rainforest ink. We have these in our ink pads and also in reinkers. And yes, the Rainforest ink is a match to our Rainforest cardstock. This has been a long request from many of you, so I hope you guys love having a Rainforest ink to go along with that cardstock. And the Clover is a fun, bright new green that fills out our fun green selection. So first we're gonna take a look at all of the ink colors in our collection. And they are so pretty to look at when they're all laid out in rainbow order like this. So you can see how these new colors fit into the rainbow. First, we're gonna point out the clover ink, which is that beautiful bright green. And then we're gonna point out the new rainforest ink, which is somewhere in between a teal and a green. It's like this beautiful, magical color. I love it so much. Now let's take a closer look at that row of greens. So first up, we have celery stick, then freshly cut grass, jalapeno, cilantro, artichoke, noble fir, the brand new clover, and sage leaf. Now we're gonna take a look at that aqua teal kind of row, and we'll start with minty fresh, merman, kitty pool, mermaid, peacock, and the brand new rainforest. And oh my goodness, I just love these colors so much, and I hope you guys love using them too. Next, we're gonna take a look to the latest addition to our stencil paste, and this is a clear stencil paste. And so it's exactly what it sounds like. It's a clear color and it helps you make things just have a little bit of a gloss, a little bit of a shine, um, and you can layer it over different colors that you ink. So here is a look at what this clear paste looks like, and then some fun ways that we've used it in some recent videos. One of my favorite ways to use the new clear stencil paste is with the rainy sky stencil. So what I like to do is ink up my raindrops. Here I'm using some minty fresh ink just to give it kind of a light turquoisey color. And then once we have all of those inked up, I'm gonna take my clear stencil paste and we're gonna smear that over the whole thing. And this is gonna give that nice glossy layer to the top of our raindrops. When I use this paste, I like to make sure it's a nice thin layer, so I add it on with my spatula, and then I make sure to kind of scrape off any of the excess. Then once we're done, we can lift up that stencil, and oh my gosh, look how pretty that is. It kind of almost like highlights the color that you've used underneath it, and then when you lift it up, you can see that beautiful shine. I took some of the bears from Berry Rainy Days and layered them into this cute scene, and look how gorgeous this is. Those bears are so cute, and having those shiny raindrops behind them kind of makes the whole card so special so I just love using this stencil paste. Another way that I like to use the clear stencil paste is to use it to highlight little parts of an image when you're using layered stencils. So here we're using the Spring Blossoms background stencils and it's a three-part layer. So we're gonna do our green leaves and then our yellow flowers. And then the last stencil adds little details to the flowers and to the background. So we're gonna do that in a light orange color, ink up the whole thing, and then you'll see here how pretty that is. But we're gonna use that same exact stencil and we're going to layer that over top and then we're going to add our clear stencil paste. And what that's gonna do is highlight that color and then give it that really pretty shine. And as we lift up the stencil, we get our big reveal. And now I'm gonna hold it up into the light so you can see how beautiful that shine is. It just makes the pattern so special. All I need to add is like a sentiment or a die cut word on top and this card is done because this is so pretty. Next, we're gonna take a look at the new glazes. And the first one we're gonna look at is the clear glaze. And what this does is it adds like a three-dimensional shine to your projects. And it's in the same type of tube as our glue tube. So it has that nice little spout where you can easily add it to wherever you wanna go. So here I'm just gonna do a little strip of it. And you'll have to excuse my very bouncy line there. I do not have the steadiest of hands. You can also do cute little dots around your project as well so that it looks like little tiny enamel dots. And then here is a comparison to the sparkle glaze. And of course, it's exactly as it sounds. It's got an awesome sparkle glittery touch, uh, but it's in the exact same container once again as the glue tube. So it's super easy to add fine little details to your projects. And here I held it up into the light so that you could see it really well. You can see that clear glaze on top and our sparkle glaze below. 
The clear glaze is perfect for adding accents to projects. And here I use them on this cute little jam jar that we have in the Berry Special Stamp Set. Now, one of the ways I like to use them if I'm filling in a larger area is almost like decorating a cookie. So I kind of go around the edges and then I start filling in the center. And that way you can get this really cool glossy look that's gonna look like you've actually put a little glass jar on your projects. And then once that glaze dries, you can see how cute and pretty that is. And as you add that onto the card, it just adds that perfect extra little detail that is so cute and adorable. It's also really fun to use the clear glaze to highlight smaller areas. So in this case, I did the little raindrops on top of the umbrella. It also looks really cute over little animal noses or maybe over a tiny strawberry or things like that. So you can imagine all the cool and fun ways that you can use it. And here you can see that sparkle glaze in action. So you can use this in a very similar way, except it's got some sparkles. So Shari decided to highlight edges of her clouds with it, and it looks so cute that way. She also highlighted the little centers on her flowers with the sparkle glaze. You could also do the same thing with the clear glaze too, but of course, sparkles are always so much fun. She's even highlighting some of the dots in the stencil that the stencil created with the little sparkle glaze just to add some sparkle and shine to this adorable card. And I love the idea of either following a stencil design or creating your own random little dots with the sparkle glaze. And Shari did that with this adorable lucky card here. So she went to the little dots in the stencil and she added a little sparkle and shine using the sparkle glaze. Or you could add random little dots in your skies and I think it would look just beautiful. And since we're doing a little quick intro today, I thought it would be fun to quickly introduce some of our extra products that we have. And we have a brand new tote bag, and this tote bag is so cute and funny. And I love using the tote bags. I use them every single day for my laptop, and that's how I carry it to work. Or of course, you could always fill it with a bunch of cute stamps too. We also have a brand new little enamel pin and there's glitter on that cactus. And that little guy is so cute. And I love the hope your day is on point sentiment. And then we just had to take these cute little succulents and put them on a onesie. And oh my goodness, this is so sweet. We have it in sizes three to six months, six to 12 months, and 12 to 18 months. And these guys look absolutely adorable. And here is a look at my little guy, Miles, wearing this cute little onesie. And he was having a lot of fun the other day at the office wearing it. We cannot wait to see what you guys create with these new products. So make sure to share it with us. Thank you so much for watching today. And we hope you have an absolutely amazing day. Bye.